Hello chaps, how are you all doing today? And uh, today we've got an unboxing for you. An unboxing of um, a floaty thing. Well, it's a submarine so it could be called a sinky thing. Yep, a sinky thing. It's the Kursk sinky thing from uh, Zvezda. So we're going to zoom down to the bench and we're going to have a look at what's in the box. So, here we are. We're down at the bench and we're going to see what's in the box. And, first of all, we'll have a look at the outside of the box. Uh, it's a nice long box um, it's got a picture of the submarine on it uh, it's floating at the moment so it's a floaty thing but it does go underwater so therefore it could be a sinky thing and this one is a definitely a sinky thing because it's the Kursk which is a sunky thing it's the K141 Kursk Russian, Russian nuclear submarine I presume that that's what that says in, um, in Russian uh, it's kit number 9007 it's a model kit made in Russia and it's a 1350 scale. On the side of the box then it gives us uh, some information about uh, Zvezda contacting them in Russia and in um, Austria. We've got some colour call outs. Um, the whole kit is 44.5 centimetres long when it's made and there's 44 parts in total. Um, and the other side of it, it just gives us some other kits that uh, are available from uh, Zvezda. Kit chip wise and floaty thing wise. So, this is going to be John's first floaty thing, and he decided to go for uh, an underwater floaty sinky type thingy for his first one, right? Had a look inside already, there ain't that much in there, believe me, you, there ain't that much in there. It's, uh, it's very, very little. We've got the uh, the top piece, okay. Mouldings on it are quite nice. Right, you've got our top piece. We've got our uh, bottom piece, okay. So we've got our top and our bottom, and we get two sprues. That's all. Just two sprues, two small sprues. We get uh, our first sprue, which we take out, it will be uh, marked as sprue B. We'll start with B. And uh, one piece of these after coming off, it's a bit of the conning tower or coning tower, whatever you want to call it. But as you see, it's uh, some quite nice detail on that. Um, I presume they're the covers for the, the, the missile launchers. We've got parts of the stand. The rest of the coning tower, some fins, more fins, some long sticky things. I presume there are some of the um, the masts and things for that. So that's on uh, the first sprue. There's no flash or anything like that in them, so it's actually not bad at all. Uh, the second one here, now we've got more um, cover things, I'd say. They're all for the... Uh, all for here, you know, they're probably the front and the side, so you could have that open, maybe. You know, you can get to see the, the, the missiles inside, give it some bit of interest. We've got the uh, the coning tower and the things for the masts. We've got our um, propellers, or screws as they call them, I think. We've got some masty pieces and uh, some more fins and things like that and two more parts of the stand and that's it that's all you get in it so you'll have it made in an afternoon painting it i don't know how long painting is going to take but uh that's basically it we get uh, our instructions which is uh one sheet you put the top on the bottom you put the sides on yeah that's what they were or the things oh you get two version one or version two Alright, so you can get two versions of it. I thought it was only the one. Um, putting our conning tower together, be it version 1 or version 2. Um, putting on the, uh, the fins and things, the propellers, putting the stand on, and putting the submarine on the stand. That's it. There's, there's, there's absolutely uh, feck all in that there lads, I must admit. There's nothing to do whatsoever in that. So, you know, it's quite basic. What else do we get inside in the box? We get a little clear sprue with uh, 
some clear parts. I haven't a clue what they're for, or I'm sure we'll find out. We've got a, a set of decals, decals, transfers, and stickers. Okay, and a safety notice. So that's basically it. That is really that's all you get inside in it. Just two sprues. But like I said, they're nice. They're, you mean they're nicely molded for the, uh, the fact that you only get two of them. Um, and anything that is shown, I don't see any uh, sink marks or ejector pin marks or anything like that. Anything is on on the insides. So far so good. And uh, like I said, there's no flash. Very little clean up. So it's a. Uh, it's one of those little specialised things that you'd, uh, you'd either love it or hate it, do you know what I mean? Nice little one for the collection, Nice, make a nice little display because it's a nice stand on it. And then our bottom and our top. So that's it, that's all you get in the kit lads. It's very very uh, sparse when it comes to parts and uh, there ain't that much there at all. So, that's the kit. Kit number 9007 from Zvezda. 1350 scale Kursk Russian nuclear submarine. So that was a grand short unboxing, lads. Uh, stay tuned to the channel and uh, I will do a um, build update on it. I'll probably have it built and then show you it built and then we'll start in the painting and god knows what else and some weathering and stuff. So I'll have to watch a couple of videos on people and that have made uh, submarines in the past and see how to do it and you know because it's a different technique than the. Um, than, than, than my usual armour stuff so something new why not give it a go says you you know everything is worth it a, a, a punt we'll give it a stab at that says you so anyway, I got a lovely present of this from my son Steve so uh, we'll get this made don't forget to uh, stick a like you know thumbs up and uh, stay tuned to the channel for further updates like I said Thank you for subscribing if you've already subscribed and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel and uh, you get more interesting videos like this one here. So, like I always say, don't forget, go out and buy yourself a kit, build it and enjoy it. This is John signing off.